as possible. For some reason, guitar seems to be the thing that uh, people want to play. Um, but as you've seen, as you've seen, there are a number of different instruments, and and hopefully our judges will will take that into account, and we'll have a good cross section. We've had in the past different instruments: the bandura, you know, the, that Ukrainian guitar, and that you know, flute, harpsichord, different things uh, uh, will end up down there. Like an ocean, they come for pleasure. The hidden treasure gets the job done. I'd say we were on the very bottom. <laughs> but Step about panhandling. That's it. That's we can't seem to make that jump between panhandling. Like, we don't solicit people. We just have our case open. And they're free to give us money, but uh, the, the police look at it as, as if we're uh, vagabonds or something. It's a chance to do uh, a little bit of playing for a little bit of pocket money, uh -huh. if it comes through. I did last year as well. Um, and ended up with my picture on the page three of the star, so I figure I might be able to get some publicity out of it as well. You can have a lot of talent, but it's one thing to be able to play well, but it's quite another to be able to grab the attention of a passing rider to stop, to listen, and put your hand in your pocket and leave some money. So a lot of these uh, people who have uh, been successful in the past kind of get discouraged initially because they don't know how to make that eye contact, that people-to-people -people contact. Fiddle is one guerrilla tactic. It's an instrument you can't, you have to listen to it. You can't sort of walk by and ignore it. It's screaming away at you. That's right. Yeah. And Pat, Pat's, uh, Pat's dancing uh, and leaping at people as they're walking by to remind them that he's there. That's sort of a sure. guerrilla tactic. And tempo. We've talked about tempo. this a lot. That's tempo one of the, is that's tempo one of the words we learned important. in school. People are walking. If you can match their speed, you can you can force your way. You can get inside them a little bit, right? So yeah. I think we think about that. I think yeah. about that a lot. I think we actually, we tripped about 50 people once coming up in the <laughs> Finch subway station. We just stopped and they went... <laughs> For me, it's weird now to, to practice in a room. Practicing music is so much for me a player and listeners or a player and dancers that I, I can't get into sitting in my room and playing tunes you see so if I want to if I want to practice and play tunes for me the best thing to do is get out and play them for people here permit will uh, get us into the station that we are playing at, but it does not include travel to that station. Play. 
it's a lot warmer. It's still cold, but uh, you don't have the wind. If it's snowing, it's at least dry here. And uh, it's, it's way better than the street. Also, this is, it's legal. Some people are, are, are obviously assailed by you a little bit. They, and they, they're not used to seeing music played quite as sort of on the spot and, and really as, as I think people doing it this way do. Like you're just doing it. There's no box, there's no drum machine, there's no video. You're it. You're live and you're in their way. Um, for some people that's a bit of a shock. People have given me neat things too. People, a guy, an East Indian guy, sat here for two hours at Christmas last year, and he came up and gave me a mincemeat pie. And uh, it was just such a nice gesture. And somebody came up and gave me flowers, and somebody gave me a bottle of scotch, and uh, all these wild things that I've got. Very often a, a, a money contribution is uh, um, accompanied with a verbal thank you. So we do have the feeling that that we're being appreciated uh, as opposed to uh, you know uh, charity uh, recipients thank you some friends are really cool it's like wow you know it's a performance it's really neat other people a lot of my own people of my own ethnic background they really look down on it so they see this instrument that's so dear to them and they see me playing on the subway not wearing a traditional costume and they see it as how terrible you know he's taking this instrument and dragging it through the sewers of toronto and uh, it's too bad i don't agree with that opinion at all i think it's good because at least i play here and people that normally wouldn't see the instrument hear about it railroad line let that 219 train ease my trouble in mind well, I'll tell you what I'm not going to get rich playing here but I can be kind of happy you know because I'm doing what I want to do and like today like I just came I just came to work what, about 3 30 that's my time. We'll not get rich, but uh, we make a, a modest but comfy living. And we never have to wait for payday. Next on the new music, songwriter and novelist Kinky Friedman and the Pogues branch.